Presenting a poster at a conference can sometimes feel as the second best to giving a talk at the same conference, but there are some things about presenting a poster that make it much better and more interesting than giving a talk, and there's no reason why you should give up on presenting a great, effective poster just because it's just a poster presentation. It's not. And let me tell you why and how you can effectively deliver a good poster presentation. First of all, if your conference is a little bit more modern and they include little poster pitches before the poster session itself, in which everybody gets a minute to get on stage, show your poster or the visuals from your poster and try to get the audience's attention, put some effort into it. This is usually where you can really shine and you can get people to show some interest in your work. Because it's one thing to look at posters displayed in the poster presentation and it's a completely different thing to have a face to connect to it and some charming personality or exciting research to hear about it on stage. So it's, it's important to think about how does my poster look like when compared to others? Oftentimes we will all use the same exact templates with different colors and different logos of our institutions, put our title, put our names, put our papers and references and some graphs and text. But they all kind of look the same. They have the same layout. They're not very interesting. You want to be professional, but different. Try doing things a little bit differently. Perhaps making it in a bright color or bright border. I once used a rainbow colored poster and mine was the most interesting of the whole presentation. I got to talk to lots of lots of people. And also, the thing that has to do with your personality while you're presenting your poster doesn't shine unless people know that you are the poster presenter. And we often see this in very busy poster presentation halls where there's lots of people milling around. Maybe you're interested in this poster, but you have no idea whom to ask about it. I noticed my colleagues would sometimes take their headshots and put their photo next to the poster or even on the poster itself with their name and perhaps sometimes their contact address. That way, even if you're not sure whom to ask because you might not know who the researcher is, you always know how to recognize them by their profile photo. Another important thing when you're giving presentations is that you are not presenting as you're presenting at a talk. This is your opportunity to have a conversation. Presenting a poster is the easiest way to learn about other people's research and see if they're interested in working with you. So when you're talking to somebody, trying to explain your poster, don't focus just on them. If there's two other people walking by looking at your poster, turn around, talk to them as well. If they want to join up, join in the conversation, this is only better for you. And if you're like this, talking to this one person, they will walk right by and you will get no benefit from them. They might have a lower opinion of you as a researcher as well. You don't want to do that. Make sure you're open, your shoulders are back and you're talking to everybody who's around your poster. But also, if somebody's interested in your work a bit further, always ask them what they're doing. See where your overlaps are. And as a kicker, make sure to have the title or the URL or maybe a QR code for your research papers or paper on your poster. And if somebody asks you for a bit more details, have a couple of copies printed out. You can hand the copy to them right away with your contact information and you can continue the conversation somewhere else. But it's always really important to stick to not presenting but trying to have a conversation with the people who are there. Because if they wanted to listen to you present and you didn't have a talk, they'd probably read your paper. You're here to pitch them your research. And because it's a poster, you don't have to stick to text. So take advantage of that. Make everything visual. Put pictures of models. Use a lot of graphs. Of course, you need a little bit of text. You need a little bit of equations that you're using if you're using them. But don't limit yourself to text. 
because honestly, if somebody wanted to read, they would find your paper and read it. So take advantage of that situation. You're there as an expert to guide them through your poster and maybe end up with a collaboration or two. I saw an interesting poster a couple of months ago where, well, I, I wouldn't recommend you go down this route, but it's a nice way to stand out. This person put a photo of their cat on the top of the poster and the text read something like, now I've got your attention. How about you learn about my research while you're already at my poster? And that might be a little bit less professional that you want to, than you want to go, but it's definitely much better than what you see with some researchers who just paste their paper sentence by sentence on a poster template. Be different, but be professional. Use it as an opportunity for a conversation instead of as an opportunity to hold a presentation and use visuals wherever you can, because this is what makes poster presentations special. And you might find out very quickly that it will return the effort and the time that you put into it multiple fold.